this is a construction question so the most important or the only tools that we are going to use here is the uh, ruler and not uh, a pair of compasses so i would advise you to use the long rule right so that is the most important thing so these are the only two just maybe you can go for another extra uh, pencil just for simple ruling and so on and so forth and i will demonstrate this by a pure exams question right so the key here is that you must understand how to solve uh, some of the simple angles that's the 60 degrees so simple angles like uh, 60 degrees uh, maybe 30 and then 15 right and 45 uh, 90 120 and so on so if you have a problem with some of these angles or how to construct it make sure that you comment down in the comment section below so now let's have a, have a look at this question now, according to the question it says you use a ruler and a pair of compasses only right so construct triangle uh, a b c right so we are going to construct if you don't know a triangle this is something that we call a triangle right so three sided uh, shape here. and then we have the length of a b right so the line a b from a to b is equal to seven centimeters so that should be your first step so line a b is all seven centimeters so here you just pick your 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 ruler and what uh take a measurement from what uh, uh the starting right so it starts from here. according to my rule uh we are going to start from this point right so this is what uh from the starting point to what? seven centimeters so i would advise you to to take that measurement somewhere close to the uh, the middle of what your paper so maybe you don't know exactly which direction uh your your, your graph or your construction will be so this is the starting point so here is a, uh, the starting point and then we are ending out of uh seven centimeters so this is a very simple one right so this is a, a seven centimeters so take a ruler and then take that measurement so this is what you're having right so from here to here sometimes you can rule uh extend that to uh, the outside the what the measurements right so this is exactly what you are dealing with from here to here so this is the length of what a and then and then b is that okay so here is what seven centimeters that is all our starting point now look at the next line look at the next line so this is a very simple line that i'm having right so from what a to b is what, uh, seven centimeters okay now the next step says that uh you, you should draw another line uh what is what a to c right so a to c uh line a to c is equal to uh eight centimeters right so from a to c so from here right so this will be our, our starting point right so this is the a so a to c we don't know where c is whether c will be here or c will be here or c will go down here we don't know yet so what i'm advising is i look for the next angle so the next angle is an angle what uh angle at a right so this is the symbol that you're having angle at a that is equal to 105 degrees is that okay so 105 the question is uh, how are you going to construct uh, the 105 degree that is the most important thing uh, so you want to construct angle 105 degrees out of a right so this is our destination so this is our house it's very very important so you should construct that at a so how are you going to construct one of that's also i made a uh, disclaimer at the beginning of the video you should know how to construct some of those angles right so the trick here is that uh, first thing you must construct what 60 is that okay so let's construct another 60 or maybe straight for you can just construct what 90 degrees so by here i'm going to construct what a 60 degrees so the way of constructing this is how you fix your compass right so if it's in the compass you have to make sure the pencil and the, the pointer side of your compass are the same right so they all start at the same point so the starting point is, is, is the same right so the, this and these are, all, are the same right so these people they have all, the same starting point okay once you have these people starting at the same point then all that we are going to do is that we are free to go right so let's construct the 60 degrees for you to construct the 60 degrees you can open to any radius is that okay so stand here where exactly are we so you are standing at a so this is the starting point we are going to stand here here and then open to a, any, any 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 this one doesn't take any measurement so any 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 direction then you construct or 
your axe. So make sure that you have the pressure, the pointer side of uh, your compass, so that it won't uh, split it, right? So here, here is what my first uh, measurement. Is that okay? So this is the first starting here, right? So with the same measurement, don't close the compass, right? So with the same measurement here, we are going to stand here, right? Look at where I'm standing. Stand here and then construct up another arc that will cross the first one, right? So here is what a strictly what uh, 60 degrees, right? From here to here is what 60 degrees, and then let's construct another one. Look at where I'm standing. So you are going to stand up as of this point, right? So you are going to start at this point and then construct up another arc here. So that arc will also give you more another 60. Can you see? So from here to here is 60, and then from here to here is another 60, from here to here is another 60. So making what 180 degrees, right? Okay, now let's move on. We want to construct what a 90 degrees. Look at so our destination is what 105, right? So 105 here, we are looking for 105. So from here to here is 60. And then why don't you construct a 90 degrees? Some people construct a 90 degree from here and then extend this one to the top here. So whichever way, right? But here I'm going to uh by set or that is the angle, right? So that's the name there. You open more than half of the angle that you are having here, right? So more than half of this or this 60 from here to here. Right, so more than half of uh, that angle there. So here, so uh, we are going to bisect this. That is the technical term, meaning that we are dividing from here to here into two equal parts, just using the compass. So the trick here is that you stand at so one end here, which is here, and then you open more than half. I will say that I'm not on the on the line, right? Can you see? So more than half of the line, right? So like this, more than half of. Uh, uh, the angle that you want to bisect, so the angle that you want to divide into two equal parts, and then you construct an arc at the top here, right? With the same dimension, don't forget to close it, right? Yeah, so don't bother yourself to do that with the same dimension. Come and stand what at the other end here, and then construct the other the other arc here for them to intersect, right? So, so something simple like this. So this is what we are doing. I will see the two of them are intersect. So if you do that, then all that we are going to do here is that you draw a line uh, straight from where uh, that will pass through the, the intersection. So now let's draw the 90 degree, right? So this is what our 90 degrees is straight forward. So it will pass here to, to the intersection. So this is uh, what we are having to draw. Yeah, 90 degrees we are not looking for 90 degrees is that okay the question say 105 but why are we uh, doing or looking for this 90 degrees so this 90 degrees here can be our starting point so from here from here to here is 60 and then to here is uh 90 degrees so from here up to this point is of 90 degrees so if you can see look at this um, the, from here up to this point was uh, 60 right so from here to this point was uh, uh, 60 degrees so if you divide this one into two equal parts that should be 30 30 can you see so this guy is dividing from this point to this point here into two equal parts that's what we call what, a bisection right so here is what here one side is 30 one side here is 30 if you add 30 if you divide this 30 into two that means we are going to get 15 right so 15 added to 90 that should be what, uh 105 right so here, here to here is uh, 30 degrees. From this point to here is uh, 30 degrees. So you agree? Because from here to here up to this point is uh, uh, 60, right? And then we manage to divide here into 2. So we are having 90. So we want to add 15 to this 90 so that we can get uh, our 105. So from here to that point is uh, 105. So how do you do that? You just need to bisect. So meaning that you should divide this point into 2 equal parts, right? So from here to this place is uh, is what uh 30 degrees so we are going to divide these two people into uh two equal parts now let's divide this simple angle the small angle here right so this one how do you divide that so we call it a bisection so as i said earlier you stand at one end you open more than half of what, what you are dividing so this is what you are dividing right very simple like this so we are going to construct an arc here right so maybe I'll advise you to use a, a bigger or uh, the big rules for you to see everything clearly. So here yeah, you come and start at it just like the previous one. So you come and stand at this point here. Right? So that's at this point here. And then you divide that into you bisect the arc, right? 
so you buy a set have you see so at this point here these people are uh, what uh intercepting right so these people are intercepting so these people here here and you see the point is so we are going to realign that to pass through that so we need another 15 added to the 90 making what 105 right so this is what we are going to have to the our 105 uh degrees right so from here to here is what uh that is our 105 okay so from this point up to here is up 105 right from here up to here is up 105 is that okay we needed the 90 to get a 105 that was a very simple thing that we did at the beginning okay 105 so the length here is what they said that uh the length from a to c right so now a c is what on this line right so c is on the line which is what uh eight or eight centimeters right so you can take the measurement on this rule or maybe you can use your compass to to to, to determine that right so the, whichever way so here from here just take that measurement uh up to what eight centimeters so from here to here so this is my eight centimeters so from here and then we are ending somewhere here right so we are ending somewhere here so this is what this will be what our c is that okay so here at this point will be what our c so from here to here is what eight eight or eight or centimeters that was what the question is saying right so now that you have all this, remember they say you should draw a triangle. So we have all, all the three corners of the building. So this is what A and then B and then as well as what, as well as what C here, right? So we are going to have the triangle, meaning that we should join these two people to have our, our, our simple triangle. So this is how the triangle uh, looks like. If you enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you have any questions. Okay, now we have our beautiful one. Uh, triangle now let's look at the questions that follow right so the next question said this is how simple you should follow the instruction so just all that we need here is uh, the rule and what uh the pair of uh, compasses right if you if you are finding difficult in construction some of the angles just comment down below for help okay now they say uh, the next one says that uh x s uh, the locals of points C centimeter from C, right? So from C, that was the most important thing. So from C, if you are moving from something, meaning let, let's say this this is uh, uh, your house, right? So this is your house where you stay. So you are moving from the house, meaning that you are moving away from the house. Is that okay? So you are moving away from this house. So another word here is uh, locus. The most important word in, uh, in construction. So the locus here is not anything. Many people get confused about this. So if you move from here, maybe let's say this is your house and then you are going to a school, a school, let's say a locus from your house to your school is just this line, right? So this line is what? The locus. The locus is not anything special, but it's just a name given to the route that we are passing from your house or to your destination. So this line here is just a locus, right? Okay, very, very simple. So this is X, the locus of points, six centimeters or uh from what from x that is very very important c centimeter from what sorry from what from c right so the local that was c centimeters so how do you do that let's let's construct that locals uh says we are naming that local this is a line or it can be a circle right so we are naming that locals x uh, and then we are starting from uh, c so this is what the starting point right so this what this will be the starting point c right so see we are going to take what uh c so uh centimeters okay so you may choose to have your your ruler or you can use the the the, the compass here to take that measurement so from here and then from here and then we are going to end at uh c so uh centimeters right so c centimeters somewhere here can you see so this will be our our, our c so uh centimeters right so now, so they say from C, so this is the, the C, so this is what you are going to have. Is that okay? So this is very uh, simple measurement that we are going to take here, right? So this will be what our locus. Is that okay? So what are we going to do to, with this one? You just construct our locus, right? Construct it. So this is something that I was saying earlier on, right? So make sure that you, may, you have your drawing at the middle of uh, the paper. So this is my very beautiful locus that I'm having. So after we took the six centimeters, right? So this is 
the six centimeters i just construct out of that locus is that okay so this circuit is what we call what? locus right so this is just a local a locus is just a name but depending on the information that they are giving you to use that is the most important thing right? so this is just what our locus so that's what the first part right okay now the second one says that uh, so we can we, we can we are going to name this one to be our x because that's what the question says right it says you name this locus to be what? x so this can be our, our x and then, then the next one says that why the locus of points equidistant from what line a b right so line a b and what line what b c so these two people we want to construct another thing another line that is equidistant the word equidistant means that if you move from here from here to this point here let's say you take just what two steps to get here this guy also has to take two steps to get here that's the meaning of what? equidistant equal distance that is the most important thing so if you take two steps from here to here that should give you the same distance from here to here for all of you to get to your destination that's the meaning of what? equidistance so how can we get that right so here we are dealing with what? angle so how can we get what? that way the equidistance so let's have the angle symbol here right so this is the angle what? Uh, notation that we are going to have here so this is uh, the simple angle uh, uh, point right so here let's have the angle symbol here to be something like this is that okay so this is uh, the angle symbol why we do we are doing this for us to divide if you're able to divide this guy into two equal parts then we can get the line that is what equidistant equal distance from here to that line and then equal distance from here to uh, that line make sure that you watch this video to the end as I said earlier on, for you to divide the angle into two, that is very, very simple, right? So, just you have to stand here, stand at the one end, right? Stand at the one end here, and then open more than half of uh, this line. I will say from here to here, this is what we want to divide into two equal parts. This is what we want to divide into two equal parts. So, what I did here was that here we, we wanted to divide this line, this point here from here. To two equal parts, so I stand here, open more than half, and then construct one arc. Come and stand here with the same distance or the same regions, and then bisect this one, right? Okay, here we are going to stand here and then construct one arc, open more than half of the line. Can you see it is not on the line? So, more than half of what this line, and then we are going to construct an arc here, right? So, construct an arc here, is that okay? With the same what distance don't close the compass so here you are going to send at the other end here and then construct up another arc right so this is a very very simple here so if you construct another arc here what is happening the two of them crosses right so once they cross here the intersection where they meet that's where we are going to rule our line through so you just pick the rule and then rule a line from here that will pass through here to what the last end here okay after you rule a line, you should have something similar to it at all, right? So this is very, very simple. So the line has to pass through the intersection here and then to, to the joint, right? So the distance from here to here is the same as from here to here. That is the meaning of what? Equidistance. Equidistance. Whatever they say, you should find the angle, equidistance of any angle. So you have to bisect that angle and then let the line will pass through. So once this line will, uh, crosses through, this is what I'm having, right? So I'm having a very beautiful line from here to to the point here okay now uh, the only question that they are asking us to do is to find the the measurement right so they say you should measure so you just need to uh, take a measure right so take a measure but b before that they say line a b and then line a to be take a distance to cut x right so x to cut s here and then you remember this was our, our x the, this line here also so of course this line has passed through the s and then cuts here at this point here at the same time what at this point here right in p and what and r so which people are the p and the r so here should be what your p here right here should be your p and then you have the r at at this point is that okay very very simple now you say just take the measurement bc so measurement b uh, C. so this is what b b up to c just put a ruler down take the measurement and write this make sure that you write this measurement in the comment section and then we have our pr so this is what our p here and then this is what our r so take these two measurements and measure is 
give me an answer in the comment section. If you have any issue, make sure that you comment down below for help.